feel lost and don't know where to start with your next running goal? If you're looking for running goals to help inspire you, we'll discuss setting running goals for beginner runners. Which running goals will you decide to use? On this channel, we give you tips and tricks on how to be a successful runner, and we provide workout videos to help you with a healthy lifestyle. If these are interesting to you, be sure to subscribe so you can never miss any of our videos because we post two videos weekly. So you have to decide why do you want to run. By setting goals and knowing the reason why you want to run, it keeps you motivated. So we're gonna tell you different goals that you could set to keep you motivated to stay running. Rest and recover. So it's very important for runners to have a rest and recover days. This will allow the muscles to be able to recover from preventing injuries for runners. This means that you want to take it light. It also can mean that you can be cross training during those rest and recovering days. So you could do different things like yoga, swimming, and cycling. You do want to give your body at least one rest day a week. Another goal that you could set is run without stopping. Now this don't always mean that you're going to go out there and run the whole time. But it do means that you could be able to run without stopping. Rather that means that you'd be running 5 minutes straight without stopping, 15 minutes without stopping. But whatever that goal is, keep challenging yourself and as you meet that 5 minute mark, you go to that 10 minute and that 15 minute mark. Or you might want to say you want to run three times a week. Again, it doesn't mean that you have to go out there and run like five miles each time you go out there. That might mean on Monday, you're going to go run one mile. Wednesday, you're going to run three miles. And Friday, you're going to run five miles. But you just want to be consistent and at least run three times a week, whatever that mileage would be for you. You could choose to make it all the way to the top of the hill. This is something a lot of runners do struggle with. So it's a perfect goal to set for yourself. So that means that as you're out there and you see that you come into a high incline, why not run it and make it all the way to the top of that incline? Enter a race. A great goal to have for a runner. So if you're already out there and getting some runs in, why not challenge yourself and enter a race? This is a very exciting experience, especially for new runners that enter in the field, to be able to go out there and do a race. And if you have already ran a race before, you may want to try to PR or PB, which means run your personal record or your personal best. You want to try to beat your time that you did last time. Be consistent when you're running and focus on your time that you want to run. You can set non-running related goals, like get more sleep. Try to avoid injury, which means listen to your body. If you need to take a rest, stay in and recover. And last, start working on your speed, increasing speed, and try to run a faster mile. And if you need help with speed training, or even Temple Run, check out our Scudder Twins channel because we have plenty of videos to help you to become a stronger runner. And if you like our video on setting goals, be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video so that other runners may learn how to set their running goals for this new year. Until next time, bye bye